My name is Stephen Ellis. I live and work in Newport. Uh, in particularly, I work for the Newport Museums and Heritage Service. And 14 years ago, I began work as a tour guide at Tredegar House. And then at Tredegar House, I first met this lady, uh, DDVA, according to the uh, book guidebooks. Um, she was, in fact, on the floor when I first met her. She just arrived at Tredegar House from Newport Art Gallery. And uh, before, not before too long, she was put up on the wall in the King's Room, the bedroom of Lord Tredega, as was in the 1930s. Um, very, very uh, catching, as you can see. Um, stories abounded about her. As tour guides, we used to say that, uh, as you can see in the background, there's another painting. And it was said that that was how the artist, Sir Gerald Kelly, had intended her to be. Uh, he went for a break, and when he came back, she was smoking a cigarette, and he said, that's it. That's how I want to paint you. Stay like that. How true that story is, I don't know, but I think it works well, so we've always gone like that. Um, the artist, well, the title DDVA is a bit strange. Uh, it's said that DD is the initials of the model, V means it's the fifth portrait he painted of her, and A means it's small. Um, I'm not so sure. It has other titles as well. Um, La Petite Model Anglaise uh, is what it was called when it was exhibited in Brussels and uh, other places in Belgium. Uh, the Little Model, um, but we're not absolutely certain. Uh, as you can see, she was quite controversial when she was first exhibited. She was bought from the, uh, the painter in 1947, and um, she caused a bit of a, a stir. And indeed, there was a, a bishop, a self-appointed bishop of the ancient Britain's church from Killian, who decided she shouldn't be on display uh, corrupting the people of Newport. So she was taken down and hidden away for some time uh, until she went down to Tredegar House. She returned uh, for a while. She'd been on display um, part of an exhibition of the nude and was quite popular with that. Um, but on that occasion, the thing that people found a bit outrageous was the fact she's smoking. And of course, a lady smoking, terrible, can't have that. Uh, and one person referred to her as Fagash Lil, lovely, charming. Um, but there she is, DD. Well, there's actually no evidence that Gerald Kelly used a model called DD. And in fact, she does resemble very much Gerald Kelly's wife, Jane. And Kelly used Jane as a model uh, for 30 odd paintings. So it's not unlikely that this, in fact, is uh, Jane, Gerald Kelly's wife. Uh, down at Tredega House, sometimes people would say, well, she's no lady, is she? Well, Gerald Kelly was Sir Gerald Kelly, and she was, in fact, Lady Jane. People laugh when I say it's the face that draws me towards it, but look at her, look at that expression. Um, haughty, perhaps? Confident, certainly. Um, and she is, she's comfortable in her surroundings. She was a professional model, if this is, indeed, uh, Gerald Kelly's wife. And um, it does draw you in. Uh, and there, that cigarette just says, yes, okay, you know, I'm not worried about anything. Uh, this is fine. Look at me. Take me as I am. She's, uh, she's quite something. She's quite, and quite enigmatic. Not so much the smile, but the whole thing about her whole, the whole aura, her whole presence. Kelly also painted um, the King and Queen at the time, Queen Elizabeth, and um, Queen Elizabeth knew about his penchant for painting Jane, his wife, and she said, I suppose I've become one of the many Janes now, have I? So he, he was well known throughout all sorts of circles, royalty included. Uh, and and a, a very much a prestigious artist. Uh, when Newport Art Gallery, Gallery bought this painting in 1947, they were adding a very important painting to their collection. Uh, Gerald Kelly, not, not too long after that, 
became, as I said, Sir Gerald Kelly, and he also became president of the Royal Academy. So uh, a very prestigious painting for us to have here in Newport Art Gallery as well.